वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम टू पॉइंट थ्री फाइव सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज़ गिवन दैट अ फोर फीट कंक्रीट पोस्ट यू कैन सी हेयर इज री एन फोर्स विद फोर स्टील बार ईच विद अ डायमीटर ऑफ थ्री पॉइंट फोर इंच सो यू कैन सी इन दिस कंक्रीट बार देर आर फोर री एन फोर स्टील बार्स हैविंग दिस डायमीटर नोविंग दैट मॉडुलस ऑफ इलास्टिसिटी फॉर स्टील इज दिस and for concrete this is 3.6 into 10 to the power 6 psi determine the normal stress in in steel and in concrete when a 150 kips axial centric load is applied so this is a concrete post where a 150 kips load is centric load is applied on that so i will write given data in given data it is given that uh, the length of this concrete post is 4 feet and 4 feet in inch is equal to 4 into 12 inch which is equal to 48 inch clear and diameter of this steel bar is equal to 3 by 4 inch also modulus of elasticity of steel es is equal to 29 into 10 to the power 6 psi and modulus of elasticity of concrete is 3.6 into 10 to the power 6 psi load is given p centric load is 150 kips clear and what we have to find we have to find in part in first we have to find normal stress in steel So sigma s, and second we have to find normal stress in concrete. So let's start with this solution. So as we know that stress is equal to load per unit area. So I will write for steel. This sigma s is equal to p over a s, and for concrete this low stress sigma s is equal to p over ac area of concrete so we should uh, have this uh, uh, area as and ac also this will be ps load taken by the steel and load taken by the concrete now you can see that this load p is applied on this concrete bar and it will be some of the load will be taken by the steel and plus some of the load taken by the concrete so the their addition ps plus pc is equal to total load which is again equal to 150 kips so we will find as as area of steel so we know that area of steel steel bar is pi by 4 into diameter square and diameter is 3 by 4 inch so 3 by 4 whole square as there are four number of uh, steel bars so we will multiply four as well to get the total area of the steel bars so when you calculate it it will be equal to 1.767 inch square okay for concrete for concrete area of concrete will be equal to area of concrete will be equal to this 8 by 8 since this is 8 by 8 so 8 multiply by 8 minus the area of steel rod so 64 minus uh, area of steel rod which is 1.767 so area of concrete comes out to be 162.23 inch square now we have as and ac both have both value this is as this is ac we do not know pc and ps so due to load due to load p again this is compressive load so due to load p the deformation delta uh, sorry delta deformation delta will be equal to delta in concrete 
is equal to delta in sorry this is delta delta in bolt both will be same so we will use this due to load this total uh, deformation will be equal to deformation in concrete and it will be equal to deformation in bolt as we know that deformation delta is equal to p into l divided by a into e clear so for steel rod or steel for steel bars this deformation del s is equal to p s into l both length is same l s divided by a s into e s and for concrete this deformation delta c is equal to p c into l c divided by a c into e c so again you can see the deformation is given or not so deformation is not given clear and deformation in the question is given or not okay So total deformation is not given. So we can say that from here you can get this PS. So PS will be equal to um, or you can say that you can put the value del S uh, delta S is equal to PS into length is given as 48 inch total length of this concrete bar is 4 feet which is equal to 48 inch so 48 inch divided by area of steel is 1.67 1 1.767 uh, into e of steel and e of steel is 29 megapascal so 29 into 10 to the power 6 so when you calculate it you will get deformation in steels comes out to be 0 0.936 into 10 to power minus 6 ps so this will be the deformation in the steel for concrete again you can put the value del c is equal to pc length of concrete is again 48 inch divided by area of concrete which is 62.23 into e, e of concrete which is 3.6 uh, 3.6 into 10 to the power 6 psi okay so from here you will get deformation in concretes come out to be 0 0.214 into 10 to the power minus 6 pc now we have del s and del c again uh, we due to due to load p this deformation or uh, this deformation del is equal to del c is equal to del s so we can equate this del s with del c so when you will equate it so 0 0.936 into 10 to the power minus 6 ps is equal to 0 0.214 into 10 to the power minus 6 pc so we will get the relationship between ps and pc so ps will be equal to 0 0.22875 times pc so this is the uh, relationship as we know as we know and i have already discussed that this total load is equal to load taken by concrete plus load taken by steel bar and this total load p is equal to 150 kips clear so we get this equation 150 is equal to pc plus ps 
now you can put the value of uh, ps over here so when you put i will put it 150 is equal to pc is e plus 0 0.22875 so we will get pc will be equal to 1 point uh, sorry 122.07 kips now you have this value you can put pc in this equation which is so from here you will get ps will be equal to 27.925 kips clear we have ps we have pc so in first condition we have been asked to find the stress in steel so stress in steel is equal to minus because it is compressive so ps divided by as so ps 27.925 divided by area of steel which is 1.6767 1.767 so from here you will get sig sigma s is equal to minus 15.80 ksi in second part we have been asked to find out the stress in concrete so stress in concrete again that is equal to minus pc divided by ac pc is 122.07 kips divided by area of concretes is 62.23 62.23 so when you calculate it this is minus so when you calculate it it will be minus 1.962 ksi so sigma s is minus 15.80 ksi and sigma concrete is minus 1.962 ksi so from here we can see that major portion of the load is taken by the steel bars or steel bars so this is the answer of our question number 2.35 i hope you have enjoyed this video thank you for watching